Hey, it is Friday, April 16th. Nice to get to the end of this week. Hopefully everybody in this part of the world has taken care of the tax man. Oh, wrong song. Wrong song. Well, anyway, you get the idea. So we have had a really, really busy and fun week around here. And I just wanted to kind of let, let, uh, let everybody know some of the things in case you missed any of the news broadcasts or or whatever because one of the really fun things for me this week was to roll out our new series intros riffs and licks and I think you probably saw we started off with three Rolling Stones classics uh, of, course, of course Keith Richards comes up with some great guitar things and the ones we looked at this week were all in open G we had Honky Tonk Women doesn't work very well in standard tuning but uh, in open G it's really it's really slick so we of course had uh, our open G tuning for honky tonk women brown sugar and start me up just showed up yesterday so I hope everybody's had a chance to check those out they're of course over for the target members in the intros riffs and licks section down down in the uh, buried in not buried but in the in the target menu there you know so and uh, let's see oh today's big news I hope everybody's seen this Wait. Now, it's been a couple things. I've been really excited about getting to this song because, first of all, it was really high on the recommend a lesson list. And as much as I can, when I see things over there under that recommend a lesson button, I try to pick out, pick out ones that I think, you know what, great song, great idea for a lesson. And when I can take one that's in the top 10 and take it off the list, uh, it's, it's really fun, especially for a song that I like so much as that. Hopefully everybody's checked out this album, Music from Big Pink. So um, anyway, so The Weight was one of the tunes that I pulled out because uh, it was so high on the list of recommending the lesson. So good work for everybody that keeps hitting that button and voting on songs that you think would be, would be really good. Um, speaking of the buttons up there, and especially if, if you're new here and haven't seen some of the, some of the cool things that, that happen, um, we have the competition that ended at the beginning of this month on vote on people creating their own videos of songs that were uh, that related to, to Totally Guitars somehow. And if, so if you haven't voted, be sure to hit that button that says competitions and get your vote in there because we've got, well, about another half a month now till Matt and I will choose from the top five vote getters that you guys pick. So that competition was really fun. 41 different videos by our members that were just, um, some were hilarious. Most of them were hilarious. Some were brilliant. So the uh, other thing, student reviews. I, uh, I managed to get to, as, as you know, probably about five or so this week. I want you and uh, Beret and a few others. And I really appreciate the fact that the target students hit that uploaded upload videos button on or hit, use that part of the forum to upload their videos to YouTube, our YouTube channel and then I go in there and look at them and get some responses back to them. So this has been a good week for that. I figure if I get an average of one a day for a week, we're, we're on a really good track. So certainly appreciate the target members putting their videos up there. At, uh, it's, it's really fun to see how everybody progresses and things like that. So it, um, and of course, everybody can check out my my contributions to them in the Neil's video responses part of the forum. So that's down a little further in the forum. You don't have to be a target member. That's a really important thing. You don't have to be a target member to see the responses, but you do have to be a target member to put one up that you'd like me to review. So another big change happened around here that I just became aware of today is that the chat room has now been, is now work up and working in the community. So you can be in your community area and that's where the chat stuff is happening. So you got live chats, people dropping in. I might even drop by a little bit later this afternoon and see, see who's there. So if you are uh, wondering what happened to the chat room, it is now much easier to find right there in your community section. So the other uh, thing, everybody had this song right. <laughs> from yesterday. A Whiter Shade of Pale, one of my all-time favorite songs, 1967, Procol Harum. And uh, 
obscure tune. I might have to at least put the lyrics up for that because I found a verse, of, a version of it a while ago that had three verses, which they only sang two, Keith Reed and Gary Brooker. Keith Reed was the uh, lyricist for Procol Harum. Gary Brooker played the piano and sang the songs. And just um, a hauntingly beautiful tune with, again, kind of lyrics that you just wonder, what the heck are they talking about? Who cares? It's really, it's still, still really cool. And yeah, that was the tune I was messing with yesterday. Hopefully you heard the song I played at the beginning today and recognize that. If you're old enough to remember A Whiter Shade of Pale, you're old enough to remember this tune by a band that we have a lot of songs up here by, as a matter of fact. But, so make sure to log in and let us know what, what it was I was playing at the top of the lesson. So um, that is probably it for what really amounted to being like a, a weekly review rather than a daily review. I think it's, you know, it's Friday and again, I used to do these news things just on Fridays with a recap of what happened all week. And so figured today, get back in Friday mode and especially meaning that now I will not be back till Monday. So I'm checking out for the weekend and I'm going to be practicing, working on some new tunes a little bit, I think. Maybe we'll hear a little bit of this one. We might hear... However it's going to go. i got to figure, figure that one out. Uh, we may be looking at Jackson Brown. We might be looking at a few other tunes. So I'm having a blast. I really appreciate the recommend a lesson section because that is where I am picking songs to do for lessons from over for the next next couple months worth of target lessons are probably going to come from that. So be sure to keep keep uh, recommending your favorite songs. And uh, I'm glad to see that a lot of yours are the same as mine. So that's it. I am going back to playing. I think we're going to have a little uh, Stefan Grossman to go out. Everybody got that one? From an album Stefan did with one of my all time favorite guitar players. So that's it. Fill in the blanks, let me know all the tunes you heard today, and I will see you Monday.